Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Entitled Parents Reddit video. Story number one, I'm with him, you know, the owner. Let's jump right in. This happened about four years ago, not long after my father purchased a Vietnamese restaurant. My father was the executive pastor at his church, and while I was out as an atheist at this time, I still helped out around the church so that dad wouldn't have to spend all day working. My parents live on a lake, so my dad and I would often go fishing on Sunday nights if he had the time. On days that I would come and help with the cleanup, he would typically take me to his restaurant as compensation. We both love pho, so this was as much for him as it was for me. Well, when we got to his restaurant one Sunday afternoon, one of the members of the church was eating there with her two sons. Everyone knew my father owned the place, so it was pretty common to see people from the church there. I know that my dad was annoyed to see her eating out because she was unemployed and actually received aid from the church to help with her living expenses. We had several families who were longtime attendees who got aid in one form or another. Shortly after we were seated, we heard a commotion coming from this lady and someone on the wait staff. Basically, church lady had tried to leave without paying her bill, and when she was approached, she informed the waitress that she was with my father and I, so she wouldn't have to pay either. My dad had to get up and deal with the situation. He informed church lady that he actually always pays for our meals, and if he had invited her to lunch, he would have gladly covered her meal. But as she had come on her own accord, she would need to pay. Of course, she was pissed about this, but did end up paying in the end. Church lady actually went to the senior pastor afterwards and explained just how unchristian it was of my dad. I don't know any specifics, but I am sure she embellished the situation. My father left this church less than six months later because he felt that the senior pastor was taking advantage of his time. Story number two, my ex's girlfriend expects me to take her kids for the weekend. Some background info that is relevant. My ex is not actually my ex. We've been separated for nine years now, but we've never actually signed papers for numerous reasons, financial being the biggest one. We've co-parented our son well for those years, and for the past eight years, we've included my boyfriend in the process. We've been doing quite well at this, and the three of us have established a pretty good relationship. Two years ago, however, my ex got a new girlfriend. Her and I don't get along, mainly on her part, and no, I don't just say this because it's my side. I've always encouraged my son to respect her and try to get along with her, but he can't stand her, or her two daughters. I don't mind her youngest, she's hyper and bounces off the walls, but she's 8, so it's to be expected. The oldest one, at 11, the same age as my son, however, is a, well, she's a witch. She actively ridicules and belittles her little sister, my son, and my daughter, who's 6. She's rude to me, my ex-in-laws, and even my ex. This girl is absolutely out of control. Background out of the way, last weekend was my son's weekend at his father's. However, my ex and his girlfriend had been invited to an adult party. My ex and I were discussing it when he dropped my son off on Wednesday, and he mentioned that it might be easier if we switched weekends around, but he wasn't sure if he could find a babysitter for the two girls, so we had to wait and see. I was fine with that and told him to just keep me informed. Later that night, his girlfriend sent me a message saying that since I was taking my son for the weekend, question mark number one, I could just take the two girls and keep them for the weekend too. Before I could even respond to this, she added that she would send them over clothes and some money so we could get pizza. I told her that I wouldn't be taking her girls, that I wasn't taking my son for the weekend, that he lives with me and his father and I were just switching weekends around, and I certainly wasn't taking her children for the weekend. She sent a message back saying that it was very rude of me to not take her girls, since she took my son every other weekend. Before I could respond again, she sent another message saying she'd send over $15 for pizza. I told her that she didn't take my son on the weekends, that my son spent the weekends with his father. Then I reiterated again that I wouldn't be taking her girls. 
She responded, asking what I was doing that I couldn't take the girls. I told her we weren't doing anything. We were just going to have a nice relaxing weekend. She asked why I would ruin her and my ex's weekend by not taking the girls. By this point, I was annoyed and told her that I didn't like her oldest daughter. She was a brat and she wasn't allowed in my home outside of emergency situations. She responded by saying that I was an awful person, a terrible mother, and I didn't deserve children since I clearly didn't understand parents who just need a break. I ended up blocking her, but like, damn. Here's an edit. Wow, firstly, thank you for all the awards. I was just griping about my ex's girlfriend, lol. Didn't expect all this. Secondly, while I've tried to respond to a lot of you, here are a few general points. I don't know where the girl's bio dad is. Ex's girlfriend is from the West Coast. We live on the East Coast, and I've never felt it my place to ask. She doesn't end up raising my son on the weekends. My ex knows our son isn't a fan, so they typically go fishing, camping, or hiking. My ex loves our son and spends as much time with him as possible. No, I didn't call the 11-year-old a witch to her face or to her mother's face. I told her mother she was a brat, yes. If that makes me a terrible person, well, so be it. I have screenshot the pictures of our convo, and I plan on talking to my ex when he picks up our son on Wednesday. I currently haven't heard from either of them, so I guess we'll see if she tries to drop them off tonight at 6. Edit number 2. So I just got off the phone with my ex, who called to ask when I'd agree to take the kids, since last he knew that wasn't happening. I sent him screenshots of the conversation, explained that I had never agreed to take either girl, and told him I was quite clear with her on that. He said he was sorry and he'd handle it, and that I'd see him on Wednesday when he picks up our son. Story number three, no, I won't ruin my relationship with my uncle for you. My uncle was a late whoops baby, so he and I are moderately similar in age. Out of everyone in the family, he and I have the closest relationship, especially now that I'm an adult and have more control over how often I can see him. He has an illness which prevents him from working, so he has been stuck living with my grandparents, his parents, his entire life. They are abusive, manipulative buttholes and have been for as long as anyone can remember. Because of this, to say my uncle does not care for them is putting it lightly. Last year, he was finally able to move out on his own, and he went no contact with his parents and did not look back. I could not be more proud of him for how well he is doing, and it's obvious that his mental health is improving with the distance from his abusers. This afternoon, my grandparents called me and sounded very worried. With shaking voices, they said there was a problem and they needed to talk to my uncle, but he wouldn't answer their calls. They asked me to call him with them on the line because they knew he would answer for me. Essentially, they wanted my help to stomp all over his boundaries. I told them I would not be doing that, but that I could either pass on the message for them or that I could let him know they needed to speak with him. They wouldn't tell me the problem, so I just sent him a text telling him that they wanted to talk to him about something important and that they seemed worried. Turns out, it was all a ploy. He ended up calling them and there wasn't actually an emergency at all. Just a minor update they wanted him to know. They wanted me to break his trust and ruin our relationship so that they could more easily disrespect him. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to be the first to know when the next one drops, then subscribe and make sure you click on that notifications bell so you really get notified. We'd love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next one.